the epileptic power supply has also affected the generation and distribution of water to many communities in Kaduna State, a situation that hampers the general well-being of the people who are mostly low-income earners. Similarly, the interchange road project at Kofarkaura in Kaduna City Upgrading and rehabilitation of Ajiwa Dam, as well as its water works, have also affected greater percentage of supply of water to urban and semi-urban centers. As the saying goes, water is the driving force for all nature and the fuel for all living animals and plants. Some residents of Katana, who decry high cost of water and the absence of pipe-borne water, also called for immediate intervention from the government, especially as the month of Ramadan is approaching to reduce the suffering of the masses. You see, we sell 12 jerkans of water at 350 to 400 naira because of uh, the proximity from which we supply this water. And uh, that is the problem. And of course, we buy these 12 jerrycans of water uh, at 150 to 200 naira. That's why we sell at 350 to 400 naira. You see, these water vendors sell 12 jerrycans of water 600 naira. And that's why we prefer to come and supply it by ourselves. That is the problem. Some of them will not even listen to you. On their part, people living with disabilities said they are a bit confused as to what to do. Is it struggling for what to eat or spending more money in buying water for drinking and other domestic purposes? I am from Bindawa local government area and we are experiencing a very serious shortage of water. We need the support of government to construct additional boreholes for us in our localities. Since the establishment of Ajio Dam, we have never experienced this difficulty. We are suffering seriously, and we don't know where the problem is coming from. From 2015 to date, Katna State government says it is committing over 27 billion naira in expansion, upgrading, and replacement of some absolute machines at Ajiwa Water Works, which is 99% completion stage. So as far as we are concerned, it's only time. But as far as we are concerned, we finish over the challenges. We identify the problem. And we we, uh, we overcome with the challenge more than 50 percent. So on the additional 18 percent for the last week to is another dimension. So as far as we are, I cannot say the present is dead, but very soon, because we are working hard. And hard. Yes. On access to basic water supply services to rural communities who constitute 65 to 70 percent of Katana State population, the Executive Director, Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Agency, Ruasa, says the agency has made a tremendous effort in increasing access to improved water supply to 1.6 million people. Another uh, challenge that uh, we need to strengthen is uh, collaboration and synergy between different uh, stakeholders that are saddled with the responsibility of uh, providing safe water source uh, to the people. If we have effective synergy and collaboration, you will see that uh, uh, duplication in terms of uh, provision of this facility has been reduced to minimum. The theme for 2022 World Water Day is groundwater, making the invisible visible. Experts say groundwater is a crucial resource that provides almost half of all drinkable water across the world. As such, people must be mindful of its depleted reserves and contamination. Abdullahi Ismayamadi, Trust Television News, Katana.